Hello friends, welcome to the second part of topic how to identify that simply supported beam and the continuous beam. So here in the first part we discussed that plan at ground level. Now this uh, plan is taken for the floor level. So this structural plan is taken and at floor level that naming of beam is done like FB1, FB2 and FB3 and so on. Now in this part we need to identify that which one is the simply supported beam and which one is the continuous beam. So again here the same concept will be used that is what we have studied is the concept of simply supported beam means <coughs> uh, the span which is resting on the two supports that is called as the simply supported and the span which is resting on the number of supports that is called as the continuous one. So this same concept will be used over here. This one is the simply supported and if the continuous is to be considered then it will be resting on the number of supports like its definition that the span continues on the number of supports is called as the continuous beam. Same concept will be used here to identify those different beams. So let, let us start from this FB1. Now in case of FB1, let us check its supports. That FB1 is supporting on the two supports that is C1 and C2. And out of the two supports, this C2 is then continuous. Another span is associated with the same support. That is why this FB1 that is the floor level beam 1 will be treated as continuous. Then this floor level beam 2 check its supports that C2 and C3. Both of the supports are having another span on their side. That is why again this FB2 will be treated as continuous beam. Hence this FB1, FB2 and FB3 all the three beams will be designed as a continuous beam with span 1, span 2 and span 3. Let us come to this next one that is FB4. Now here we can see in FB4, this FB4 is supported by first beam FB20 and the second beam FB21 and then this span is not getting continued after these supports. It means this FB4 will be treated as the simply supported beam. I am marking the simply supported beam with this right click and uh, the continuous beams with a straight line. So this FB4 will be treated as a simply supported beam. Then next to that here number of beams are there this FB5, FB6, FB7, FB8. So for all these beams now this FB5 it is supported on this C5 column and its another end is free. So this kind of a beam is treated as the cantilever one and next to this support C5 the span is continuous for FB6, FB7 and FB8. Hence all these four beams from FB5 up to FB8 they will be designed as a continuous beam and this span of FB5 will be designed as the cantilever one. Next to that here we can observe this beam FB23. For this FB23 it is supported on the primary beam this FB5 and this FB10 means this FB23 will be treated as a secondary beam and it is simply resting on two beams FB5 and FB10. Hence this FB23 will also be designed as the simply supported beam. Next to that here we can observe this FB9. It is supporting on the column C9 and C10 and then the span is not continuous. It means this FB9 will also be treated as a simply supported beam. Similarly here we can see this FB16 will also be designed as simply supported beam. Then here we can see this span is given for staircase that staircase is resting on the four beams that is FB18 then this FB34, FB36 and this mid landing beam 14. 
means that upstairs size is this one and then this one is the mid landing beam now as this is mid landing beam it will always be designed as a simply supported beam because for this mid landing beam it means it is lying at the mid height of the total height provided to the floor so at that mid level only this one beam will be provided in addition to that or in continuation to, to that any another beam cannot be given that is why in most of the cases this mid landing beam will be designed as a simply supported one similarly we can consider now these vertical beams here we can observe this fb19 its first support c1 for that c1 there is not any another beam provided in the another direction but for this support c5 it is getting continued with beam 24 similarly then that part is continued with beam 30 and it is continued with fb 35 hence this continuous beam will be designed for the four spans that is fb 19 fb 24 then fb 30 and this fb 35 so all these beams will be designed as a continuous beams similarly here also we can see these continuous beam will be designed from fb20 fb25 and fb31 and fb34 now in these continuous beams from this fb20 up to this fb34 this one secondary beam is lying over here on this portion so whenever we will consider the load calculation at that time in addition to the load transferred from slab here the load because of this secondary beam that is the reaction of the secondary beam will be considered at this level on this primary beam and by considering all these loads its design will be done similar will be case over here that from fb21 up to this fb32 all the beams will be designed as a continuous beams then at this point that reaction due to the secondary beam will be taken similarly at this point the reaction due to this fp15 will be taken this fp15 will be a simply supported one then here also those will be continuous beams similarly here we can see from fb22 up to this fb33 all the beams will be designed as the continuous beams and likewise we can identify that which one is a continuous and which one is a simply supported and by identifying this then their proper design steps can be adopted thank you